Hello dear friends, myself Dr. Shrikant Burma, MBBS MD Anatomy, Director Simple Medical Academy. So in previous video, we have seen how we can draw in the simplest way the lower limb. Yes, this is also indicating the various surface landmarks which are important for the first year MBBS students as well as for the learning of the basics of the lower limb. So, yes, now we are going to see the details of the lower limb. But before starting, there is one simple request from my side to you. Just go through the earliest video of the upper limb in which we have seen the various layer of the human body. I am just describing in short but request to you to go through that video. In that video, we have seen when we were cutting the upper limb, there were, there were few layers in our body. The outermost layer in transverse section of the arm. Yes, when we were cutting the arm, the outermost layer was the skin. Just below the skin, there was condensation of loose connective tissue, which was known as superficial fascia. Just below the superficial fascia, there was condensation of the thick connecting tissue layer, which was sleeve-like. That was known as the deep fascia. Then this deep fascia was sending few modifications. This deep fascia was sending few septa-like structure, which was attached to the bone. Yes, this septa-like structure was situated between the muscles. That's why the name of this modification of deep fascia was known as intermuscular septa. Yes, in the arm, there were two intermuscular septa, medial and lateral. So yes, the deep fascia was sending the septa which was attached to the bone. This septa was dividing the arm into the two compartment, anterior compartment and posterior compartment. Yes. These septa medial and lateral intermuscular septa we are dividing the arm into the anterior compartment as well as posterior compartment. Getting the point? Okay. So yes. Now this arm is divided into the anterior and posterior compartment. And during this section, we find that every compartment is having its own nerves. And according to the Hilton law, just see the previous video for the Hilton law also. According to the Hilton law, the nerve of particular compartment will supply the all the muscles of that compartment, the joint over which that muscle is acting and the skin overlying that muscles. Yes, according to the Hilton law, the particular nerve of the particular compartment will supply the muscle, joint and the skin. So now we are applying the same concept, the same trick of the anatomy for the lower limb. So just see here, suppose we are cutting the thigh from this part, from the middle part. So what are the layers in the thigh part? Okay. So when we are cutting the thigh, then what are the layers we are getting here that are in this way? Okay. So this outermost layer is skin. Just below the skin, there is condensation of loose areolar or loose connective tissue. That condensation of loose areolar, areolar tissue is known as superficial fascia. So, suppose this is the superficial fascia. Again, I am requesting to you to see this video. To understand properly this video, you have to go through the upper limb initial video. So yes, this is the superficial fascia. Just below the superficial fascia, there is the condensation of the thick connective tissue. The condensation of thick connective tissue just below the superficial fascia is known as deep fascia. So yes, this thick condensation of the connective tissue is known as deep fascia. And yes, this is your concept. The deep fascia of the thigh is known as fascia lata. Yes. Always in lower limb, we read fascia lata, fascia lata, fascia lata. What is the fascia lata? Nothing. The deep fascia 
of the thigh is known as fascia lata. Okay, see here, this deep fascia is nothing. It is the sleeve like, it is the polythene like layer which covers entire thigh. Okay, now see on the innermost part of this thigh region, the bone, what which bone we get at this region? That bone is the longest bone of our body, that is the femur. Yes, suppose this is the femur, and on the posterior part of the femur, there is thick vertical ridge of the bone which is known as linea aspera. Yes, what is the linea aspera? Thick bony ridge on the posterior part of the femur is known as linea aspera. Yes, this linea aspera is having the few modification of the deep fascia. Just like the upper limb, the deep fascia is sending the few septa which is attached to the linea aspera. Yes, see here, suppose this thigh is presenting this part as medial side and this part as the lateral side. So, there is the one modification of the deep fascia, the septa which is attached to the femur from the medial side and another layer which is attached from the posterior side and another layer of the deep fascia which is attached on the lateral side because these three septa they are dividing the thigh muscles into the parts. So now the thigh is divided into the anterior compartment. Yes, this is the medial compartment and this is the posterior compartment. So yes, these septa are dividing the muscles of the thigh into the compartments. That's why what should be the name of this septa? Yes, this is on the medial side. So it is known as medial intermuscular septa. Yes, just see what is the meaning of intermuscular septa? Inter means in between, muscular means muscles, septa means partition. Yes, these are the partition which are arising from the deep fascia. They are dividing the thigh into the compartment. They are dividing the muscles into the compartment. That's why these are known as the inter in between. Muscular means muscle and septa means partition. So yes, this is the first intermuscular septa which is on the medial side. That's why it is medial intermuscular septa. Yes, what should be the name of this septa? Because it is on the posterior side. That's why this is known as posterior intermuscular septa and because this septa is present on the lateral side that's why this is known as lateral intermuscular septa okay getting the point so yes there are the three septa in the thigh these three septa they are dividing the thigh into the three compartments so what are the three compartments this is suppose this is the anterior side and this is the posterior side so what are the three compartments yes this is the anterior compartment of the thigh this is the posterior compartment of the compartment of the thigh and this is the medial compartment of the thigh yes this is the medial compartment of the thigh so now we are having the clear view Thigh is divided. Thigh is divided into the three compartments. So what are the three compartments? Yes, anterior compartment, medial compartment, and this is the posterior compartment. We will again see this posterior compartment of the thigh is divided into the upper part and the lower part. Yes, this posterior compartment is again divided into the upper and the lower part. Upper part is known as gluteal region. Why this lower part is simply known as back of thigh. So these are the various divisions of the thigh. Now we will do dissection and we will apply the Hilton law. When we do dissection in each compartment, we get particular nerves. Yes, in entry compartment, the nerve present that is the femoral nerve MCU. The nerve which is present in medial compartment. That is the obturator nerve. Yes, again this is the MCQ. And the nerve present in the posterior compartment is the pregnant nerve. That is the sciatic nerve. The thickest nerve of the body. So, yes, according to the Hilton law, we will see that 
all the muscles of the entry compartment they must be supplied by the femoral nerve the nerve of the entry compartment next according to the hilton law all the muscles of the medial compartment must be supplied by the nerve of the medial compartment that is the obturator nerve all the muscles of the posterior compartment they must be supplied by the nerve of the posterior compartment that is the sciatic nerve so yes there are little differences we will see in the later videos yes so this is the simplest way to study the thigh region thank you very much so if you are liking this video please like share and subscribe and also the comment comments are very important because these comments is to let me to do more and more for you all the students thank you very much subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for notification on our simplified medical and motivational videos